Huawei Mate 20 Pro first look, in display fingerprint scanner go mainstream. Hot on the heels of the excellent Huawei P20 Pro, the Mate 20 Pro continues the Chinese company's impressive run of devices. This is a stacked phone, packed with three cameras on the back, an in-display fingerprint sensor and the new, highly efficient Kirin 980 chipset. If you absolutely love specs and interesting features then you're going to love this. Huawei Mate 20 Pro Price and Release Date The Mate 20 Pro launches on October 16th with SIM-free pricing from €1,049. Euros. In the UK it'll set you back £899. Pounds. Pick up the Mate 20 Pro and it's easy to see how far Huawei has come when it comes to design. The P20 Pro was a great phone to look at, but this is even better. It's made from glass, with an etched pattern on the back to improve grip. The screen curves ever so slightly and a metal rim sits around the side. It's finished to perfection and feels as good as an iPhone XS or Samsung Galaxy S9. In typical Huawei fashion, there are multiple colors available, including a trippy twilight and lovely, dark forest green, each of which comes with a contrasting power button to add even more visual flair. There's no headphone jack, of course, yet it remains IP68 rated for water resistance, and the use of glass means wireless charging has been added. Huawei said it wasn't ready to add this handy feature until it was fast enough and apparently this will charge wirelessly at 15W. Considering the iPhone XS Max tops out at 7.5W, that's impressive. Another trick is the ability to charge other key-enabled phones by pressing them to the back of the Mate 20 Pro. I was charging a Google Pixel 2 XL with it and it felt like the future. That was until I held the phones together for a good 10 minutes and got about 2% extra battery. This might be an idea that needs some tweaking. Sitting on the front of the Mate 20 Pro is a 6.39 inch 2960x1440 OLED panel. It's gorgeous, HDR enabled with fantastically bright colors and a real punch. Even the notch can't disrupt the immersion here. Inside the screen, there's also a fingerprint sensor. In-display fingerprint tech has been rumored in high-end phones from Apple and Samsung for years and has yet to materialize, but with the Mate 20 Pro it is finally becoming mainstream. Setting it up is very similar to setting up a traditional fingerprint sensor, hold your thumb against the screen for a few seconds, moving it around as you go. It's a tad on the slow side, but once everything is registered you'll see a faint fingerprint outline on the display when it's off.